This is Ella. In this video, I'll be talking about the impact humans have on mountains and their ecosystems. Before I talk about all of these subjects, let's go over them quite quickly. There are many ways that humans affect mountains. The biggest would be our industries, like mining, forestry, logging, etc. Um, we also affect it by our population growth, such as building houses and roads all over the mountains. And we would also affect it by recreation. We might hunt the animals and play sports like snowboarding and skiing. We need lots of energy production, and our energy often produces climate change, and which that affects the mountains. We can have positive impacts, however, like nature preserves and wildlife corridors. First, we'll be talking about industries. So the biggest would be mining, but there's also forestry, housing development, and tourism. Mining is the process of extracting ores and minerals from the ground. In order to do that, you must remove large amounts of earth to remove your specific materials. There are two types of mines. There are surface mines and underground mines. This is an example of a surface mine. Humans have blasted off the entire surface of the mountain in order to expose the ores below. The most obvious damage done by surface mines is blasting away the top part of the mountain. The less obvious damage is the fact that the surface mines um, contribute to acid mine drainage. This is a diagram of what acid mine drainage is. The precipitation goes into the mountain and some of the water leaches down into the groundwater, while some of it runs off the sides. As they do this, they pick up dangerous chemicals that could, and they do, kill animals. Then it continues to, to seep out into the rivers. It can affect aquifers and the whole water system in its entirety. It's not just surface mines that contribute to acid mine drainage. Underground mines do as well. Underground mines try to preserve the top of the mountain by going underground where it does not affect as badly the habitat. However, they, they, also, do, they also produce acid mine drainage just as much. While they're mining, they have a pump that pushes out the groundwater that tries to go in. But when they stop mining, and when the mine shuts down, the groundwater comes up without being pumped back out, and then picks up the chemicals just as before. The biggest effect of acid mine drainage is affecting and polluting the whole water system. Also, the chemicals that leach into the rivers and the streams. Acid mine drainage has chemical effects such as increased acidity and increase and an increase in the amount of metals in a river or stream. Acid mine drainage also has physical effects on the ecosystem, such as added sediment in the rivers, and because of that, decrease in light pen penetration. There's biological effects, such as a difference in some of the reproductive patterns of organisms, and um, the poisoning of animals slow and fast. It has ecological effects on ecosystems, such as habitat modification, bioaccumulation, which m means that the predators who eat prey with poison are the most affected. Mines affect wildlife and their habitats. They destroy habitats and therefore cause loss of biodiversity. They fragment habitat and they disrupt habitat. Um, and therefore, endemic species are most at risk because if this happens to their own habitat, they will probably become extinct.
mines have effect on the structure on the structure of the mountains, such as they take off massive amounts of topsoil, they cause sinkholes, and they make the mountain become less stable in general. Mines aren't the only industry, industry that affects mountains. The, the logging industry also does. Some similar effects to mining are that the habitat is destroyed, disrupted, and fragmented in the same way. The topsoil is lost, and large amount of trees are cut down. Forestry has different effects from mining as well. It has effects on biotic factors such as trees, plants, and animals. It also has effects on abiotic factors such as climate change, and because forests help to filter the air, and forestry takes away the forest, we get less filtering of the air and less returning um, water to the atmosphere and cooling of the planet. It's not just industries that affect mountains. Humans having fun also does. It fragments habitat and disrupts wildlife. Um, it pollutes the forest um, from vehicles and trash. And the hunting of carnivores, such as Puma, lynx, wolf, and bear that affects their social structure, such as humans are more likely to attack dominant carnivores in established territories, um, and then the young males who would otherwise not have any territory are trying to take territory but then unable to defend it. Something that has a greater effect than recreation is the human population growth. The way that we are building houses into mountains and, and between mountains, um, the way that as our population grows, we demand more logging and mining. There are energy production, such as building dams that destruct and destroys river habitat. Um, we also affect climate change, so which disrupts patterns of snowfall, snowpack, glaciers, flooding, and drought. The good news is that humans can have a positive effect on mountains. We can conserve energy and produce energy in less harmful ways. We can use less harmful mining practices and logging practices. Uh, we can create wildlife corridors and set aside more habitat on nature reserves. We can re respect the habitat where we hike and camp, and we can rebuild carnivore population and support them so that they can manage their own prey overpopulation. Then this is just the last picture um, of quote up here. Look to the side with flowers and you will still see fawns. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation. I will see if I can make more. So bye for now.